I tell you, man, the f fucking Switch is the greatest console. I just saw the announcement of the games that they released. They have Hades now, which I knew was coming out sooner or later. And they have a whole bunch of Monster Hunter games coming out. Killed quite mercilessly by a young companion, a trader. The young man wanted to seize his business. All right, we're going to talk to this guy. Rat. Where you hiding, daddy's boy? Where you hiding? The spirit notices his eviscerated corpse, caked in dirt and laced with maggots, and lets out a spine-curling howl. Void walking. Void walking did not eat of my flesh. Void walking did not betray me. It were him. My boy. My Garvin. I want his head in my hands. I want his head in the dirt, sticky with worms, picked to the bones by buzzards. Bring it to me! Bring it to me! Head of the dog, Garvin! Garvin! Spoiled that green milk, like a stinking egg. His hands were bigger than his head. He wanted and wanted, but didn't know enough. Never enough. He'll got the business, same as he did me. Rat. Pig. Dog. <laughs> Find him. Feel his heart. Squeeze it dry. Squeeze it dead. Bring the head. Bring the head! Well, you don't have to question what you're gonna do here. You gotta bring his head. <laughs> Eat his head! Now be careful on the way back. You don't want to be attacked. We're going to wait for the dwarf attacks. Let me see. How many, how many? Oh, jeez. We're right there. We're, we're going to hold off the dwarf fights until I start going for Mortis. That's the Chronicle. So I would prefer not running right into it. Actually, why am I doing this? Let me just go back this way. There are other quests over there we're going to take care of soon. I want to get to level 11 first, and then when we're at level 11, we'll start going for Mortis. It's just there's so much fun stuff to do here. So now... First thing you want to do with Garvin is you want to let him know that you know what happened. And he knows that I know. This world of war and cruelty they created. They shall not stop till all the world's awake. So, what's the word? Ah, oh, my poor mentor. Lost to the wilds, I regret to inform you. Take it from me. Avoid the open country around here. The void woken are not to be trifled with. Very good. Now, if there's nothing else. He looks at you with his brow knitted, lips pursed, pain painted mask like upon his face. What a loathsome thing to say to one mourning the loss of his finest friend and mentor. Good day. <laughs> Always. I haven't forgotten what I've heard about the chef's mastery of the pot and cleaver. I'm simply waiting to have it proven to me. Hold on. I have the void walking, don't I? Void walking So, what's the word? Always. I haven't forgotten what... All right. This is what you do. And different somehow. Perhaps a special mixture from the house? Garvin tastes the stew, then begins spooning it into his mouth. He sighs with pleasure. His eyes go wide. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Something isn't right. I need to go move. I'll let him run out. I don't, I don't feel so well. And just follow him along. Oh, please, Lucian, spare me. Listen to my love complaint. Now, 
now. In that stew you gave me. I swear, if I could. Uh, if I weren't. Ah, uh, gods. I haven't the oh, energy for this. You want to know the truth? The old man was a fraud. Always hinting that he had an amazing stash hidden away somewhere. But you know what I found when I tasted his flesh? Nothing. His intestines threaten you both with a high squeal. You had to push me, didn't you? This is gonna be messy. You got that right. All right, so... Unfortunately, I can't. Why am I being attacked by everybody? Oh, heaven! I'm starting to really love that ability. Glory is life. Uh, you're done now, pal. Anyway. All right, what the fuck was everybody looking? I guess if I Nash. Nah, All right, so Spiel. No. Keep the head, don't feed on it. Don't eat it. Unfortunately, he can't get his heart, too, but... Why was everybody attacking me? <laughs> oh, I love her. Let's talk to some chickens. Busy. Oh, you want a list? I've got eggs to lay, grass to tidy, grain to clear, and magister boots to peck. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> well, ain't you a tall drink at all, Ness? What can I do for you, honey? She fluffs them and coos. You're so very, very sweet to notice, honey. Ain't easy keeping him so nice in a dusty town like this. But I do take pride in him. Go on and scoot then, honey. Yes, my darling. All right. Back to the big man. So after this... Oh, yeah, and you. The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone. But I'd gladly... Lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. But I need them. So yummy. They taste like shadows and spoiled cream and turn the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur, like being caressed by black cotton. Maybe. <sighs> I should stick to the good stuff for a while. He pokes his nose at your map, leaving a wet spot. I think you'll find something interesting there. Found me some goodies during life number six. Now, if you don't mind, I need a bit of me time. All right. Can't be good for him. If you only give him two, he dies anyway. I think he... Does he leave something? I think he leaves some kind of... Yeah, hold on. No, he's just diseased. That can't be good for him. You can 
So we'll take care of this, then we'll take care of some other things. I think once we're done with this, we'll be at level 11. Pipe down. Tired of your whining. Tell your dogs to shut the fuck up. There are a couple of things down there that we're going to do before... Again, I don't want to go to the dwarves until we go to Mortis directly. Then we have the whole other side to get to. The troll thing's gonna be a while. They're pretty nasty. Especially Gorg, or Garg, whatever his name is. Where is his head? Where is his heart? Speak! Dead! Rock, take him! Buzzards use him for a latrine. <laughs> I want to look into his eyes. My boy is dead. My, my boy is dead. The snake. He takes the head in his hands and gazes into its lifeless eyes. He tenderly strokes Garvin's head and a sad smile crosses his lips. May maggots bugger you for all time, my dear boy. <laughs> Get that map of yours on hand. I've got a little something for you. Garvin took nearly everything from me, but not nearly enough. I'll show you where to look. I feel the push. Bam! It's my time at last. Gods, I hope I'll meet my boy again. Maybe I'll get to look him in the eye when I take his head from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's this one again? Blank polymorph? Nah. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Okay, level up, level 11. And, yeah, we're gonna do that. And the reason we're gonna do that is because... Yeah, she's already three polymorph, but you know, I wanna get her this... This going. I think we got time, though. You can learn skills... supposed to get a civil ability? Mm. We'll just stick with finesse for now. So that base is this base is five. He's only at thirty wits. He has some decent resistances. Alright, Necromancer is base three, four. get an extra skill point per level up, but... Uh, I don't know about Supernova. I do want... Contamination would be really good. Well, not really. Not where we're going. Let's go with... She's okay. 
provoke, yeah, provoke would be nice. Yeah, I don't know. Rain's okay, but... I don't have any polymorph skills, though. Let's do some side stuff first. Getting another talent point or whatever. Anyway, let's go this way. They're gonna end up getting killed anyway, so let's mosey on over to this guy. This is another one where you kind of want to unchain Fane and Ephon and just have them sort of go up here. Like Fane, yeah, they, they can go up here. This is a lot better. So just have them sit here. If you can keep your ranged characters at range. Let's talk to you. The missus will kill me. She'll tear me a new mouth halfway down my neck. Fish will bite, all right. Not that you'd eat one. I've got a worse problem than that. Way, way worse. I've gone and dropped my wedding ring in the water. I was casting a line and I cast my bloody wedding ring instead. Guess my fingers aren't as fat as they used to be. He contrives to give you a sad look. The wife's got a sentimental attachment to that ring. Her mum took it off her dad's drowned body, here, on this very beach. A mischievous grin appears upon his face. Ah, I'm joshing ya. Scammed it off a drunken elf in the tavern a few years back. But still, the wife will be furious. I could do that. I could. But seeing as the ring has a bit of sauce to it, like as not, going in there will attract Voidwoken. All things equal, between an angry wife and Voidwoken, I'm leaning towards the wife. Just a hint. Nothing that concerned a magister. Made me feel that little bit more confident in myself. Maybe it was all in my head, but I felt like the ring made me more attractive to the women. I wouldn't do the dirt or anything, but it's good for the ego. Keeps a wife on her toes, too. I'm not asking you to risk your life on account of me and my marital woes, but if you fancy a paddle, you can go right ahead. All right, so real simple. That's the ring, and here we go. <laughs> I 
That solves that problem. Alrighty. Oh yeah, before I do that. Maybe these little fuckers and one big guy. And because they use charged phlegm a lot, which I mean all the time, it kind of makes this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. I don't really want to be here. Get them all diseased and then. You suck. baby. That's so awesome. What? What? If he jumps, that's gonna count as a lot of movement. Oh, curse. I'm fading. Wow. Shit. As you can see, the ashen, or the golden idol of whatever, that's what it does. Why is she not moving?
Stay down. Not great damage. <laughs> 